bad. I suppose most boys dream of getting to Wembley, scoring a goal in a cup final. <laughs> Me? I prefer flying. <laughs> Blimey, now they're trying to compete with us. Anything they can do, I can do better. Stick to dry land where they belong. <laughs> Why don't I keep my big mouth shut? <laughs> Anyhow, they're having a good time, that's what matters. I must say, I like to see kids enjoying themselves. La, la, da, dee, 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 dee. You won't live long enough to see anything if you don't get off that wire. Hey, uh, hey, who said that? Do you realise you're sitting on a live electric wire? Well, so what? Can't hurt us birds. It will if you touch the wire above it with your wings. Hmm? You'll get hundreds of volts through you. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you were kidding, weren't you? No, I wasn't. That's why I get worried when I see children playing near pylons. Or overhead power lines. Or substations. Yeah, well, I know I'm going to play safe in future. There, you said it. I said what? The golden rule. Play safe. These are not telephone wires. They're overhead power lines carrying high voltages. Without them, lots of people wouldn't have any electricity. So when you go out to enjoy yourself, play safe and make sure there are no overhead lines about. Watch out! Oh, God. Those wires are alive! If you want to have fun and stay alive, keep away from overhead power lines. Then you know you'll be playing safe. What about the boy with the boat? He was lucky. The electric shock knocked him unconscious, but he was all right after a couple of days. Was he touching a metal part of the dinghy? It doesn't matter. Anything that's wet or got moisture on it can conduct electricity to Earth. That's why you should never fly a kite or a model plane on a control line near to overhead wires. Yeah. When you fly your kite or model plane, remember you're in charge of a flying machine. Pilots have to observe safety rules. So must you. Make sure there are no pylons, overhead lines, or electric substations around. Whoa. Control lines, even if made of string or nylon, can conduct electricity, especially when they're wet. make sure you're in a clear area to take off. Then you fly safe and play safe. You didn't say what happened to the boy? He wasn't so lucky. You mean he... He was badly burned on the arms and chest, but he didn't die. Oh, oh thank goodness for that. As I said before, never play near overhead wires. 
But if you ever do see your kite or plane going into them, let go before they touch. Yeah, but things like that cost a lot of money. How do you get them back? Whatever you do, don't try to bring them down by throwing things or poking at them with a stick or tugging on the tail or control wires. They could be live. The police will know what to do. That's a very stupid place to fly a kite. Sorry. Sorry. No trained electrical engineer will be stupid enough to do anything until he cut off the current and earth the wires. So don't try to be cleverer than the experts. Well, I know I'm never, ever going to perch on another live wire. Don't forget there are live wires in substations, too. Yeah, what are these substations you keep nattering about? They're places where electricity comes in from the power stations and is distributed to all the houses and factories nearby. All the equipment here carries thousands of volts. People don't realize that they don't even have to touch it to get a shock. Electricity can jump gaps and pass through your body to earth. Go on, get it. We're not supposed to go in there. Oh, go on, there's a gap down there. A gang of kids broke in yesterday. I saw them. I'll see that bit of wood. never have happened if he'd kept out. Or if he'd been playing somewhere safe. Exactly. The trouble is, it isn't always the people who do stupid things who are the victims. Come on, 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 I'd like to get my claws on that boy. He's already learnt his lesson. Yes, but too late to bring his sister back to life. None of these things I've been talking about would happen if people realised that electricity is a faithful servant but a dangerous master. Remember that danger signs are not put there for fun. They mean what they say. So keep your eyes open for overhead lines or pylons. And don't fly kites or model aircraft near them either. And keep away from substations and any electrical equipment that is fenced in. And don't risk your own life or other people's by fooling around with electricity. When you have time to kill, make sure time doesn't kill you. Then we'll see you around. Have fun. But keep safe. And, and play, play safe. safe.